In the world of Islam, jihad translates as a struggle in the way of God. For gay Muslims, reconciling one's homosexuality is a struggle against oppression, against tradition and fear. In our final story, director Parvez Sharma's groundbreaking film, A Jihad for Love, looks at gay and lesbian Muslims who strive to be true to their faith and themselves. The experience of going, growing up with religion and being tormented around what your religion says and what your uh, body says, what your sexual desires say, is, is, is not an experience that's unique to the Muslims in the film. Homosexuality is a crime not only in Islam, in every divine religion, and is punishable in Islam by death. In a jihad for love, religion is really at the heart of the film, and Islam happens to be the religion that the film talks about. It is really very important for me, post-September 11th, as a Muslim filmmaker, to try and not represent Islam as a problematic monolith. Growing up in India, I certainly was exposed to Islam in, in a lot of diversity. And what I was seeking to do was to try and represent the world's fastest growing religion uh, with all of its geographical, cultural, uh, traditional language variations, you know, that exist. Therefore, you have a gay mom in South Africa. I myself is homosexual. I know what I've been through. I fasted 80 days every year besides uh, um, um, Ramadan, uh, Ramadan. Who is essentially coming out in the film, and he's, he's a father of three children. I always have this attitude with my children that I'm not going to take challenges away from them. It's probably in their fate that they were going to end up with a father that's gay. And deep down inside, I just felt that it's important for me to take them also through these struggles because at the end of it, they will come out stronger. And on the other end of the spectrum, you have the lesbian couple, one of whom is Moroccan and the other one is Egyptian. And you meet them in Egypt and they are so they're, they're so traumatized in some ways about this conflict between their religion and their sexuality. They are so desperate to find any kind of language of affirmation about their relationship. For me, one of the most powerful scenes in the film is when Mariam is sitting with this big fat book called the Fiqh al-Sunnah, which is basically a book of legal opinions in Islam. And, you know, she's sitting there and she's looking for punishment and she's crying out for punishment. Par l'accord de tous les savants. Juste quand il y a une pénétration, c'est bon, il n'y a pas de punition qui est grave, il n'y a pas quelque chose de grave. J'ai envie qu'on applique la punition. Islam, like any other monotheistic religion, has been misinterpreted largely by men who have taken it upon themselves to reread the Quran and to construct these false hierarchies. Traditionally, they're not supposed to be the voice of God. We say if it was an Islamic state, then you would be face the capital punishment. The only difference among the jurists is how that person should be killed. That's the only difference. To win any discussion within any religion, you have to kind of front the theological debate with, with the humanity of the lives of the people who believe in that religion. And, and that's what I tried to do, was put these human stories forward so that Muslims could identify with that and, and get past, if you will, some of the language in the Quran that they claim condemns homosexuality. When I started making the film, I was angry. Somewhere along the way, I lost my anger. It's about taking Islam back. It's about fighting, but fighting for love, uh, fighting for understanding, fighting for acceptance, and, and you know, fighting for your right to be a Muslim.